Hi, this is Yoongun. Why do we use GoPro on an FPV drones? And I'm gonna talk about my new findings whilst I was using GoPro on Avatar drone. The reason why we are using GoPro on an FPV drone is to get higher and better quality videos like this, especially in cinematic shots. But DJI FPV's camera isn't that good enough. That's why I'm using GoPro on most of my videos I've taken on my channel. DJI FPV has proven a lot that it can withstand the weight of this GoPro and it had enough power to withstand while you do these kind of turnings, when you do the divings, it withstand the weight of GoPro. So I think the, the GoPro 6 weight was 116 grams and my new GoPro, which is 11, was about 131 grams. And if you add the mount's uh, weight, which is about 25 grams, that means the total weight's gonna be around 150 grams. So when you add 150 grams, DJI FPV is gonna be like almost 940 grams. And a lot of people were asking me a question, can DJI Avatar, which is about like 410 grams, withstand the weight of this GoPro mount? So can it maneuver well? and fly well with this total weight of 592 grams. Can Avatar withstand this weight? So everybody was questioning this out. So let's try to check out on this video. And one thing I found while I was doing this S-split practice, what I found was that Actually, these days I fly DJI FPV more than DJI Avatar because the, uh, Avatar is quite boring. It's very slow in diving times. But what I happened was when I add uh, Avatar on it, the dropping speed was faster. So I was like, oh, this is what I felt while I was flying DJI FPV. So I think this is really good part. So I prepared this comparison. Is that I'm gonna fly these three options with uh, GoPro and DJI FPV with GoPro. So let's try to compare these three options and compare the speed of free fall diving. Your subscriptions always give me a superpower to move on. Let's try to compare these three divings. You can see that DJI FPV ranked the first and the second and without was the third, which is the lightest option. Let's try to watch one more time. This is DJI FPV shot with GoPro and you can see that it's much faster. And with GoPro, yes, it was quite fun. It's quite fast in diving, but without just about only. You can see that it's quite boring. It's very slow free fall diving. So I don't want to recommend without the GoPro on it. The winner is, of course, DJI FPV with GoPro on it. So when you do diving, I strongly recommend trying to dive with DJI FPV. So the heavier, the faster. I don't know why. And how does Avatar fly with GoPro on? Let's try to take this first test. I was testing maneuverability. And you can see that it's withstanding the weight very well. And it seems like the speed is a little bit faster. And when you do go up like this, yes, it went up very well, with very powerfully. And even you can feel these kind of drift like DJI FPV because it's more heavier. So it's just, uh, it's more fun. Let's try to do it one more time. Going up and down, can it withstand or will I crash? But it withstand uh, the weight of GoPro well. So it was quite powerful. You can see, you can check this out in this video. And it's a little bit more faster with that than I would have just normal flying. And it did nice cornering like this. And yes, the, it could drain a little bit battery a little bit more, but still, there's a lot of good points. It's the same 25 angles, but it's more faster and it feels it's more fun because it's, there's like drift and it withstands and it has enough power and also the diving speed. 
So I recommend putting the GoPro on it. 